Namaste my friends Paul Callaghan with you today again yoga teacher in the system of the Swami Shivananda in the tradition you can say yeah as usual uh, I'm here in my little ashram 2021 July uh, people comes here yeah I usually do private license for today so uh, few words about me like usual uh, it's pretty much the same thing I'm starting like uh, all the time who is watching me uh, all the time yeah so uh, you can skip it even. yeah okay it might be too bright you know I might look pale but, but it's camera I'm okay so uh, I'm not looking at the camera by the way because like uh, my eyes my vision sight not so good it's but I have a retina problem so but yoga for vision helps me a lot yoga for eyes so you can uh, uh, see my videos in here on, on YouTube by the way I'm uh, <coughs> inviting you to my YouTube channel it's uh, absolutely not commercial all my platforms not commercial people who comes here they pay some money but uh, it's mostly not commercial yeah so uh, I'm not a part of any organization religion ones or commercial ones so uh, <coughs> I have nothing to do like nothing against them if they okay you know like if they're not fanatical or something yeah um, I'm pretty meditative person so uh, I can speak slow sometimes sorry about that and also English my second language so uh, uh, I'm here in the States about 35 years about a little less maybe and uh, I understand English I feel country I feel English but uh, it's still not enough words sometimes to explain some spiritual conceptions you know like uh, about chakras about reincarnations it's pretty difficult about philosophy even who knows english well it's not easy so and i'm not preparing myself uh, before <coughs> i do videos too much you know it's not a lecture it's just i'm sharing with my own experience i went through from my heart you know i want to be I want you to be healthy, to be successful, you know. So, um, just honest thing. And uh, it's pretty hot day today, like 95 degrees or something, yeah. And uh, AC working, so you may hear some sounds. I have two cats, they may making some sounds sometimes also. Uh, yeah. Uh, in here on the channel like I have many uh, different kind of topics and uh, um, playlists, lines, uh, many videos about philosophy, many videos about like I, even, uh, I do comments on my own sutras from my own books. Uh, some of them about health, about yoga, about meditation, and, and many others. But it's pretty much yoga, uh, yoga Vedanta, I would say, tradition uh, challenge. Yeah, I'm not trying to be more smart than you, and uh, like I'm teaching how to live your life and something like that. Not really. Uh, I'm not. I don't like to judge, to criticize, to argue, to push you, to force you. I like to, you know, it's uh, no brainwash or something, just sharing. I studied yoga from childhood from about uh, 11 years old, about 37 years already approximately. Yeah, and uh, <coughs> I teach already more than 30 years, so... Uh, about 30 years 
my spiritual name is Shankara, I live in ashrams, I have teacher, wonderful teacher, Prima Sadhu Shivananda. Uh, he is the, his guru, son Vishnu Devananda, saint person, almost everybody knows him, he opened many ashrams, and he was the student of Swami Shivananda, who opened the ashram in India, in Rishikesh, long time ago, he's a great saint, wrote about 300 books, helped a lot of people, so he was so energetic, he was a doctor by the way also, yeah, amazing person, he did so much, kind of an imagine. Yeah, that's uh, why I like this system like a core, it's, it's a roots for me, a classic. Of course, I can read some other books, I'm listening to some other gurus, uh, but still, yeah, you should have roots, like, uh, yeah, <clears throat> I, have, um, I have a website, it's a Russian language, but you can uh, translate it easier, because it's a program there, 162, I guess, languages, it's pretty good, but even big companies use it, so, uh, welcome it's like encyclopedia of yoga like big one three four thousand of pages pages just pages. yeah sorry about my sometimes spelling and yeah <clears throat> and uh, it's a lot of spiritual material like special things uh, i'm sure you're gonna enjoy it you're gonna travel over it it's so big yeah, and you can download it or read it, my book. Uh, it's uh, The Essence on the Altar of Love. That's the name of the book. So you can... Uh, it's in the old system, or you can Google it. Pavel Kalagin know the, the Essence on the Altar of Love. And uh, that's a book about, it's uh, not actually about, it's uh, in the Vedic tradition, it's some phrases, short phrases mostly, it's about 700 of them over there. I have plenty, 10,000, so uh, I'm publishing like a long time ago, I'm writing the sutras like long, from childhood also, it's just coming to me. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying I'm genius or something, not really, yeah. Uh, so I have to, a lot of followers, but it's mostly uh, <coughs> from the Europe, from Russia, Ukraine, you know, uh, I have a lot of platforms. In English I have platforms also, it's uh, Facebook besides uh, uh, YouTube, and Instagram of course, so uh, I put my phrases over there, like pretty much every day, for today. And my students helps, and helps me, I appreciate it. So you can write your comments, it's very important for other people, because they, uh, your opinion, believe me, more important than you think. Yeah, just say something like, uh, uh, it's not just for me, it's for yourself, and you can uh, help somebody change somebody's life even. so don't be ignoring yeah and uh, and that's pretty much this is it I wanted to it's my regular start before the video yeah actually it started already because it's an energy and transmission, you know, like it's uh, about energy tuning, I would say. And today's topic will be um, recommendations. I have plenty of videos. It's mostly recommendations for health, well-being, from yoga, mostly, not only from yoga. Not obvious ones, like um, ones like everybody knows, and it's not uh, like uh, you, sh you must do something. You can 
use it, you, you may not. It's your choice. Yeah. <coughs> so, uh, it's recommendation from the person who, from me, who so many things in life already, a lot of suffering, a lot of love, from meditation uh, experience, from yoga experience, from teachers. So I'm trying to help people not to do mistakes I did. Yeah, and the video is not connected to each other. And actually in one video, some uh, recommendations also not connected some connected some not one could be from about food another one could be about cats or philosophy so uh, i like it that way like kind of freeway kind of spontaneous and you're not sure like what it's gonna be uh, yeah i have a name of the video of course but it's approximate one, not exactly. So <coughs> today's advice is usually I don't I don't do long videos. Uh, it's for good or uh, people too busy today. Yeah, the first one it's a health one. Uh, a lot of people uh, likes a lot to have a nice hot bath. For some people it's really good, especially with the salt, you know, like uh, it's very good for blood circulations, for people, you know, uh, for many people it's good. Yeah, for some people it's uh, like stress relief thing, but I don't recommend it to the people. I'm not a doctor, but it's obvious thing. I, I just know it from a long time from doctors, from teachers, who has some heart problems, who had like heart attack or something like that, or some other problems. When you're in the water, inside it's like kind of doing pressure on the heart so uh, the hot bath it's not so good for the people with poor blood circulation but uh, any heart problems so it's not just you cannot take it but just be careful yeah uh, don't do it too hot and try not to lie down in the bed like for really a long time it's not healthy for you for absolutely healthy people it's okay yeah another thing uh, <clears throat> it was a lot before but still people using it you know even uh, the companies who is doing the filters for the water by the way if you bought some filter you know like big one uh, you usually put it under the sink, you know, like a big, with a three, four, five filters like the companies does. It's a good thing to do in, uh, uh, especially in the big cities. Yeah, uh, <coughs> but it takes minerals out, so, uh, and put the minerals in it. You can buy it in the store, like, you know, like uh, liquid minerals. It's pretty cheap and in, in healthy stores you can buy it. Or the companies itself, like my company, I don't want to you know, do commercial for them, but uh, uh, they have it, you know, ask for, their, for it. You know, if you put some filters, they have some silver edition uh, thing to kill bacteria, and they have some. Uh, but they're not always speaking about that. Some minerals. And to put minerals, it's very important. Because uh, these filters, like, they taken all good things and all bad things out. So it's kind of uh, water almost without minerals, you know. So uh, it's pretty important one. And uh, also, 
you should put water out, not everybody, not all companies telling you that. They just put in it and that's it. And somebody forget about it. You know, just you once in the two weeks, so it depends on the filter, once in the in a, a month, you put all water out. You know, it's usually it's some container over there with the water and the filters and that some system it's circulating but and on the top of this container big bottle different ones of um, pl usually plastic ones with the water stain uh, on the bottom of it it's like uh, becoming a little dirty you know uh, it's circulating but still not too dirty but it's uh, already not too clean so once a month you just put all your water out uh, it's mostly about the old companies I know so uh, I've been go I look for many companies so uh, I have and I put it myself so uh, who has it you know don't forget yeah these things it's, it's I'm just sharing from my experience because some people just put it and then they take in the water you know and uh, they don't think it's the water stays there and it's, if the water stays for a long time it's becoming bad and uh, they're not thinking about materials too much they're not thinking about minerals at all but it's extremely important it's like dead water, you know. It's clean but dead. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, who is uh, and try not to play with silver uh, by yourself. The companies knows better about it. How many is supposed to be, and which one, because it's a different kind of silver. Uh, the old times, like people put it like you know in a jug of water. They put it some uh, silver to you know to kill bacteria and stuff. But try not to do it by yourself. Uh, it's a few things you should know about it. Uh, only the silver have like you know. Uh, I'm not sure how to explain it correctly. Uh, enough space, you know, like uh, like a quarter, let's say. It's good, you know. But it's if it's like that, like spoon, silver spoon or silver fork, uh, it's not gonna work that way. It's supposed to be some spacey you know some not exactly round but enough uh, flat space that's right over well, there yeah, flat space like a quarter you can say or big dollar you know uh, the silver one you can put that but even that I'm, I would not recommend you to do that because it's different kind of silver especially for today and you can do the even damage for you, you know, uh, too much, you, you're gonna get too much si wrong silver in you. So uh, if you read something about it, or watch some movies about the silver, it's good for water. And a lot of people trying to put some silver over there, any silver, you know, like necklaces, like, uh, it, it's not working. It's supposed to be flat, like a like like a quarter and the right one silver and you should know you should uh, know how long to keep it there you know it's uh, you should read correctly about it of course it's about it's a lot of information on the internet today about it but uh, before doing it it could be dangerous especially for children don't play with it. Try not to play with it by yourself. I know in my country, in, in Russia, like in Ukraine, people still doing it, but not correctly. Yeah, it's a science.
and it's actually very good uh, after your the filtered water or the clean water from any any good water it's very good to put a little bit not for long for few hours on the sun you know water takes everything and the sun energy it's very good for water you know, it takes sun energy the prana itself so uh, and it's supposed to stay for a while you know one day two three days it's and it's the water becoming more alive but no more yeah that's about water uh, and about uh, one more thing about that I told you yeah mm, one more thing I wanted to say it's from the topics of uh, about health uh, self-diagnostic thing uh, two things about nails I wanted to just to tell you from my experience it, it's from Ayurvedic culture from uh, as you know it's a very old system health system in the in the very culture yeah the nails on your hands and on your legs also if you see some white points you know like obvious one usually it's not enough calcium you know white ones white points if you see it it's not necessarily like that it's not proven by you know by medicine but uh, it's better to check uh, how much calcium you have yeah and sometimes uh, another thing your nail not flat it's kind of you know like a bad road like that you know like kind of uh, what's exactly word with some lines you know it's some lines but not just lines on it but it's big ones you know it's your f your nail is not flat it's kind of damaged you know like you see some usually it's some lines you know? and when you touch it you can see you can go one from one you, you can feel it it goes like that you know like your waves I don't have it but that's why I, I can show it to you yeah but it's obvious sometimes they like blue or even yellow color if you have it uh, uh, you might have the problem with the stomach so uh, with digestion or something it's if you have it if you see it and you never checked your stomach and stuff it's better to check yeah I think that's enough for today uh, stay healthy good luck to you namaste